A horribly familiar sight, this time a shooting near Harrow in North London. Police believe a 15-year-old was targeted by two men on a motorbike. He's recovering in hospital, a second boy ran off. A 13-year-old out with his family was also hit by the stray pellets, but survived. Detectives described the boy as an innocent bystander. It's clearly an extremely shocking, cowardly and wanton offence with total disregard for the members of the public and their children and families who will be enjoying a, a lovely bank holiday. After a surge in knife attacks, the emphasis is now on guns. Three teenagers were injured in this shooting in North London. But in reality, the fact that a shotgun was used close to a busy high street on a bank holiday Sunday could easily have killed somebody. And it's fueling the fear that this gun and knife epidemic is out of control. Fata Wasami was stabbed to death in Liverpool on Sunday morning. That night, another 20-year-old man was killed in a knife attack in Luton. While Raheem Ainsworth Barton was shot dead near his home in London, one of six shootings across England over the bank holiday weekend. Ken Hines works with young people involved in crime and says guns come with drugs. When you have the drugs and it, it gives them ready-made access to cash, they've got to safeguard their stash. And in doing so, it means that if they even have to step up. The person who's providing them with the work will also provide them with the method of safeguarding that work. So it's an older man that's giving the younger man the access to the gun. Police have responded by putting more officers on the streets, but politicians are under pressure to put more money into solving the youth crime wave. Juliet Bremner, ITV News.